You're locked into the Grizzly Digital Network. It's time for Grizzlies Live. Now, let's go live to the voice of the Grizzlies, Matt Mahoney. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Grizzlies Live in Nuke City. We, we took a week off last week because of this person right here. We covered some softball, and now today we're going to do it both. We're going to have the show, yes. and we've got softball, we got baseball. Big day for the Grizzly Digital Network crew as we're joined now by head softball coach, Kyle Lumber. Coach, how are we doing? Excellent. Thanks for doing this, Matt. No, no, not a problem at all. We're, we're, we're excited today. The weather's turning for us just a little bit, so uh, getting things rolling here this spring season. But uh, the Grizzlies, yesterday, won two from Montreat. We've won seven of our last eight ball games uh, for Grizzly softball. What's, yep. what's going well for this team right now? What do you like about them? We string together hits, you know, and, and when we really get rolling, it's not a one, two, three punch. It's a one through nine punch as far as the hitters who are capable of doing good things within the lineup. And our pitching staff has really just been very effective this year. So we have five outstanding pitchers. You'll probably use the question, who's the number one? And I'll never give you an answer because you've seen their performances. They all command the strike zone. And we've talked, Heaven and I have talked about it on there. We, we kind of, we'll put Bikey in at one. We'll give, sure. you, we'll give you that pass. But we have no idea who's two. And you, you're not going to give me an answer to answer no. that. But it's just remarkable. 2.03 ERA or something that's ridiculous, yeah. a team ERA. Um, and then you look at the offense and, and what they're doing. So you guys are clicking on a lot of cylinders yeah. right now. If I told you all the way back in January that this team was going to play this well, offense, defense, pitching, and be 16-4, and four, would you have taken it? I would take it, especially going through February because it's a tough month. You never know with the weather. I've battled it all three years prior to this with the weather and getting games in. So to walk away having played 20 games in February and really know what we look like as a ball club is very exciting for the rest of the season. What's the identity of this team? Does it have a strength like when you fill out the lineup card? I know we're going to do this today. Um, that's a funny question. No, there's not a strength. I think they just, when they get their opportunities, and it's been a lot of different athletes, when they get their opportunities, they're hungry for it. So we're doing that little word on the back of our practice shirts. We do compete, yep. which is a lot of good things. So can we reminisce for a minute? Oh, I love reminiscing. Heaven and I talked yesterday during the, uh, I think it was game two. Okay. And your third baseman, Rashante Darius, yes. made contact with the softball, and it went a long, <laughs> long way. Yeah, yeah. Farthest home run at the Grizzly Softball Complex? I hope so. I can remember the first home run hit at the Grizzly Softball yeah. Complex. And that was a pretty big shot, too. Uh -huh. It wasn't for one of our girls. <laughs> okay. So I don't really want to remember there's, it. There's two. The, the the comparison we made was Cassidy hit home runs, but it was always line drive home yes. runs. She didn't hit towering shots. Correct. The one that came to our mind was two years ago at the AI tournament, Heather Kalar let off the seventh with a home run. Yes. That it didn't go over the scoreboard. But it was just to the left of the scoreboard. Yes. But if the scoreboard had been 15 feet to the left, it would have sailed the scoreboard. Yes. Yeah, Bra's home run yesterday, I honestly believe it landed on the soccer field. Oh. It cleared the hill. Oh. And normally they land and they kind of go a little bit down the hill. That was a solid 20 feet past the So did the we hill. did we find the ball? Absolutely. I've got and gold so diggers after those oh things. They are like gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's too expensive to lose. Got to save the budget. And so uh, the Grizzlies, again, come away with the sweep yesterday. Uh, Tough question here. Did we save any runs for Truett McConnell today? That is the tough question, Matt. You know, we talked about that after the game, and we've really changed some of our language this year. It's focus for seven innings because you've seen it too often. We'll score early and not late. We'll score one but not five. And you have to score runs in order to win the games. Our ERAs are low, but that doesn't mean that we're unbreakable as far as having runs scored against us. So. Today we really need to go about our process again. They're going to have a very good pitching staff. Uh, we've gotten some information, and they're going to have a good defense too. It's just a matter of which team out hits the other. Well, Coach, we're looking forward to it. First pitch at 4 o'clock. Yep. I know you're busy today, game day. you got to uh, get right out there. The Truett McConnell should be here soon. First yep. pitch at 4 o'clock. We'll have that for you here on the Grizzly Digital Network. What's the, what's, what's the schedule like between now and sure. first pitch at 4 o'clock? Right, enjoy a nice sandwich and soup. I was going to say, you're going to get some lunch back here? Okay, it's right. a cold day. We're going to take some soup with us. Um, but we get back to the facility, you know, right at 1 o'clock. The athletes will arrive. Um, I'm fortunate to have John Eilenberg, who is top-notch when it comes to preparing the field, and it always looks just like it's the first game of the season. It's yeah. so well taken care of. So he'll probably be busy doing that. I'll work on the lineup from 1 to 1.30, and then we'll let the starters know by about 2 o'clock that they're going to go, and by 4 o'clock the pitchers are loose, the hitters are loose. I've got someone on relief, and we're ready. Coach, we're ready for sure, too. Good luck today. Thanks, okay? man. I appreciate it. Head coach Kat Eilenberg here as we take a break. 
Uh, we're going to come back with senior second baseman in the Grizzly baseball program and Jared Woods. You're watching Grizzlies Live at Nuke Cedary on the Grizzly Digital Network. Hi, I'm Dr. Ian Potter, Assistant AD for Internal Operations at Georgia Gwinnett College. This year, we are proud to implement Be Great, our new student athlete development program designed to help student athletes develop the skills necessary to be successful leaders inside and outside of the classroom. In addition, we are launching the Grizzly Leadership Academy, which provides comprehensive leadership training to a select group of high potential student athletes. For more information about our student athlete development programs, visit grizzlyathletics.com. Enjoy the game and go Grizzlies! The Georgia Gwinnett Grizzlies compete in the heart of Gwinnett County in Metro Atlanta. The Grizzlies currently field six teams and compete at the state-of-the-art Grizzly Athletics Complex. Georgia Gwinnett College is transforming higher education and celebrating 10 years since its charter class in 2005. As you plan your next trip to see the Grizzlies, log on to grizzlyathletics.com and select the Visitor's Guide. From driving directions to local points of interest and a listing of our proud sponsors, log on to grizzlyathletics.com. Hello, I'm Dr. Darren Wilson, Director of Athletics at Georgia Gwinnett College. Here at Grizzly Athletics, we pride ourselves in our five core values, service, leadership, sportsmanship, responsibility, and the pursuit of excellence. Our mission is to develop lifelong leaders of character through academic and athletic excellence. We hope you're enjoying today's broadcast, and we thank you for your support of our program. Go Grizzlies! It's time to gear up, Grizzly fans. Right now, you can find all the latest Grizzly gear to support your team by visiting the Georgia Gwinnett College official bookstore inside the Student Center. Or simply shop online anytime, anywhere by visiting ggc.bncollege.com. From hats and t-shirts to jackets and one-of-a-kind collectibles, you can find it all with the official GGC bookstore. Plus, on game day, be sure to swing by the merchandise table at the stadium. So pick up your favorite item today and show your Grizzly spirit. Go Grizzlies! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Grizzlies Live in Nuke City. We're hanging out now with uh, Grizzly second baseman, Jared Woods. Jared, how are we doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I may have incorrectly labeled you there. Are you a second baseman? We've seen you at thir third base here. Well, I mean, that's just, I'm kind of the utility guy right now. Infielder, I mean, right? Yes, if you ever find yourself in center field, you know you're a little lost, right? Is it, is it, you ever tell coach that? No, nah, I I played outfield a little bit back in the day, but there you go. it's been a while. Okay, all right. So most comfortable at the infield. Yesterday, the Grizzlies... Uh, had to cover that infield with a tarp. We had a torrential downpour yesterday. Grizzlies uh, won a shortened game, 13 to three as a result. What's uh, What was it like there during the rain delay? Did you guys uh, have a chance to bond a little bit there? Any sort uh, of cool games? Uh, no, not really. We were just kind of hanging out, talking about the game, like how it was going and stuff. Some people went in the locker room and just hung out, but we kind of knew it would probably get canceled because it, it just rained for like about an hour. It rained for a long, long time. Uh, they called the game off there, and now the Grizzlies are 18-0 and this season. I know I make a big deal out of that. Now you're going to give me the O and O line, right? Yeah, is that what's coming next? Always <laughs> o and o. But do we know how good this team is? You guys have been playing well. How, how good are we? Uh, I think we're pretty good, but I think we still got room to grow in certain aspects. But I mean, we've been playing good, so we're just trying to keep the streak going. And this this team is really deep. They've got a lot of seniors. They've won 18 games in a row now. And now I don't. I get this question a lot from fans that they want to compare this team and this winning streak to that World Series team in 2014. I'm, I can't answer that question, so I'm going to ask you. You played on both teams. I'm not saying compare them, but is this team similar? Like, is it always the success about the same? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we just have, like, uh, like that team had a lot of depth. This team has a lot of depth. I think that's just what it is. Coach Rondell can just let everybody get a couple of days off when they need it or something. So uh, no matter who you put out there, we know we got a good chance to win. And so, uh, indeed, it is. Last uh, Yesterday, won against Robert Morris. We got Robert Morris again today at 4 o'clock. Uh, and a chance to continue this winning streak as the Grizzlies won 20 games in a row. It's the longest win streak ever in Grizzly baseball history. Two years ago, you were part of that team. What do you remember about that journey, and were you guys kind of oblivious to it? I mean, we just bonded well and we just played one game at a time, and it just turned out to be good. So one game at a time turned into 20 in a row, and today they'll try to go for, for 19. What's it been like for you, this journey? You're one of our first four-year seniors for, for the Grizzly program. You've been here since day one. Have you have you grown with the program? What's it been like? I mean, it's just been, it went from being real hectic to driving to high school <laughs> fields and stuff to practice to having one of the best facilities 
that you can think of playing that. So, yeah, I've grown a lot. Coach Trombell's taught me a lot. The whole coaching staff's taught me a lot. I mean, the school, everything, it's just been a great experience. I can't imagine. I, and literally, I, I imagine that – do you ever, like, get start to daydream at second base and you just look up and you're like, golly, I'm here at this, this awesome baseball complex and before they didn't even cut the grass in front of me, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's different. Like – like I said, we had to drive 30 minutes to Loganville Legion to practice, and then all of a sudden now we got one of the nicest fields I've ever played on. Yeah. I used to practice on it every day, play on it most of my all the home games, so it's, it's great. Pretty cool. Well, Jared, uh, glad to have you here, and I think uh, we're making this a regular tradition here. We're going to put you through the speed round as, as an athlete, as a Grizzly here, and so I'm going to ask you a quick question, and you kind of give me that first answer that pops in your mind. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. All right, right, the best GDC pitcher on staff. The pitcher? I don't think we have one. We have a solid whole core. If I had to pick, I'd say Nikolai probably. I was about to say, because you guys enter squad and scrimmage, who's that guy where you go, man, I hope I'm on his team? Yeah, uh, I'd say, I like hitting off Nikolai just because it's nice. a challenge. But I don't like hitting off Davis. Yeah, nobody does. The way he throws. Yeah. That, that, I swear. That much, that breaking ball, oh, my God, it's unreal. It's like, it's, it's 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 pure entertainment for most in the press box because we get to see how much it breaks. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's tough. All right, best GGC hitter? Hitter? I'd say Josh Merrigan. Nice. Yeah, yeah. He's just like he's consistent. Like he does, he knows what he's trying to do. Like I think he's pretty good. So, yeah, Zach Reinhardt's been a popular answer oh, yeah. too. Yeah, Zach. He's been ripping the cover off the ball. Best walkout song? I'll say William Pastel. What's that one? It's uh, slow, loud, and banging. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Pretty cool. I like it. Who's got the worst one? I don't really know. Like everybody had did pretty good picking yeah. this year, I thought, but I, I would say everybody's is pretty good. Historically, who's had a bad one? Uh, because you know what's one I didn't like, but it grew on me, was Zeke's two years ago. Uh, I know, the, I didn't really The remix right, dubstep, yeah. I didn't like it, but then, of course, he's out there shoving, and I'm like, well, okay, I can get used I to mean, it, whatever works for him. Yeah, that one was pretty bad, but I can't really think of one I didn't really Which like. one, what's yours? What's your walkout yeah, song? It's called People Back Home from Florida to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Just stay, 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 stay close to your roots there, Yeah, huh? yeah, try I, to. Try I like to. that, I like that. Uh, favorite pregame meal? Uh, I, most of the time, me and Austin go to Little Barn in uh, Lawrenceville before yeah. on the weekends for breakfast. Nice. Yeah, yeah that's good. Because you guys got to load up on the carbs because oh, them yeah. weekend doubleheaders, yeah, that's you right. get like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in between games, right? Uh, that's about <laughs> it. Yeah. Get there at 10 o'clock and don't leave till 8. So, so what about today? Good. I mean, so we're, we're at lunchtime right now. What are you going to try to get a meal in for today, this afternoon's game uh, for? I, I was thinking about uh, getting a pub sub or something. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. That's quality as well. Yeah. Uh, favorite teammate to talk to during the game? Uh, I like talking to Jake Wright. Like, cause he he like he entertains. Like, he's funny. Like, any time I like to talk to Jake. Right. Are you one of those guys that like after that bat, good or bad? Like, do you want to talk to somebody that keeps you focused and in the game, or kind of like, hey man, don't worry about it. You got another one coming. Like, somebody keeps it a little lighthearted. Well, I just kind of, I'd rather just go stand by myself for a minute and just let me think about what I need to think, do my next time up. So, sure. just kind of stay to myself. I like it. I noticed that bathroom was pretty secluded in there. Is there yeah. some moments in that bathroom down there? For the some people. <laughs> yeah, some people. Let <laughs> make sure you close the door yeah, behind yeah, them, yeah. right? Uh, favorite uniform? Favorite uniform? I like the, the pinstripe pants with the green tops. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. What are we wearing today? Do you know? Uh, I think we're wearing pinstripes. Straight pinstripe? Yeah, pinstripe. That's so. not a bad choice. That's all no. good. It's pretty like, neat. They fit me the best, so that's why I like them. There you go. And I'm telling you, do. that's what we're learning. That's half the battle is looking good, right? Yeah, yeah always. I love it. Well, uh, Jared, uh, again, thanks for dropping by yeah. here. I know you got class this morning. Get ready for the game this afternoon. Appreciate you dropping by. What's uh, game two, Robert Morris, 4 o'clock? What are you looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to coming out and playing hard, being ready to go, and hopefully get that 19th win. That'd be nice. See, he knows what the record is. Uh, zero, zero and talk. He knows what's going on. So, uh, but Jared, again, appreciate you coming by here. And uh, before we go here, we're looking at our Grizzly Athletics Tweet of the Week, and it's from a guy you may know. Christian Turnipseed was listening to the broadcast on his way down to spring training and uh, using the hashtag GDC softball. I think there's a shout-out for the girlfriend in there, too, oh, with, yeah. the, with yeah, half He's got to put that in there for the brownie points. That's right. That's right. So, uh, Turnipseed, we want to wish you a good luck there down in Florida, man. Uh, for spring training, getting ready for the Major League Baseball season. So uh, that'll do it here uh, for with Jared Woods. We'll take a break. We'll come back, put a nice little bow on this show. You're watching Grizzlies Live in Nuke Cedar on the Grizzly Digital Network. Grizzly fans, be sure to join the conversation right now during today's broadcast. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Grizzly Athletics. Also, be sure to use the hashtag Grizzly Athletics to share your comments, photos, and videos. Don't be left out. You can check out inside updates straight from the Grizzlies, plus see what other fans are talking about. We want to hear from you, so join the Grizzly Athletics conversation right now. 
Hi Grizzly fans, this is Ned Colgrove, Assistant Athletics Director for External Operations. Are you interested in helping offer a championship experience for every single one of our student athletes? Come join us in the Grizzly Club. You can call me directly at 678-407-5241 to learn more or see our Grizzly Club information online at grizzlyathletics.com. There you can check out our member benefits like game tickets and insider events, plus make your online donation. We can't wait to have your support of our student athletes and welcome you to the Grizzly Club. It's time to gear up, Grizzly fans. Right now, you can find all the latest Grizzly gear to support your team by visiting the Georgia Gwinnett College official bookstore inside the Student Center. Or simply shop online anytime, anywhere by visiting ggc.bncollege.com. From hats and t-shirts to jackets and one-of-a-kind collectibles, you can find it all at the official GGC Bookstore. Plus, on game day, be sure to swing by the merchandise table at the stadium. So pick up your favorite item today and show your Grizzly spirit. Go Grizzlies! Hello, I'm Dr. Darren Wilson, Director of Athletics at Georgia Gwinnett College. Here at Grizzly Athletics, we pride ourselves in our five core values. Service, leadership, sportsmanship, responsibility, and the pursuit of excellence. Our mission is to develop lifelong leaders of character through academic and athletic excellence. We hope you're enjoying today's broadcast and we thank you for your support of our program. Go Grizzlies! The Georgia Gwinnett Grizzlies compete in the heart of Gwinnett County in Metro Atlanta. The Grizzlies currently field six teams and compete at the state-of-the-art Grizzly Athletics Complex. Georgia Gwinnett College is transforming higher education and celebrating 10 years since its charter class in 2005. As you plan your next trip to see the Grizzlies, log on to grizzlyathletics.com and select the visitor's guide. From driving directions to local points of interest and a listing of our proud sponsors, log on to grizzlyathletics.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Ian Potter, Assistant AD for Internal Operations at Georgia Gwinnett College. This year, we are proud to implement Be Great, our new student athlete development program designed to help student athletes develop the skills necessary to be successful leaders inside and outside of the classroom. In addition, we are launching the Grizzly Leadership Academy, which provides comprehensive leadership training to a select group of high potential student athletes. For more information about our student athlete development programs, visit grizzlyathletics.com. Enjoy the game and go Grizzlies! Grizzly fans, be sure to join the conversation right now during today's broadcast. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Grizzly Athletics. Also, be sure to use the hashtag Grizzly Athletics to share your comments, photos, and videos. Don't be left out. You can check out inside updates straight from the Grizzlies, plus see what other fans are talking about. We want to hear from you, so join the Grizzly Athletics conversation right now. Hi Grizzly fans, this is Ned Colgrove, Assistant Athletics Director for External Operations. Are you interested in helping offer a championship experience for every single one of our student athletes? Come join us in the Grizzly Club. You can call me directly at 678-407-5241 to learn more or see our Grizzly Club information online at grizzlyathletics.com. There you can check out our member benefits like game tickets and insider events, plus make your online donation. We can't wait to have your support of our student athletes and welcome you to the Grizzly Club. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Grizzlies Live at Nuke City, and we're, uh, we found a fellow Grizzly here. Uh, give me your name and where you're from. Uh, Matt Schmelder from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. So you're from right around here, and you're a student over at GGC from what I hear. Absolutely. What do you study? Exercise science. Oh, very nice. Well, uh, glad to have you on the show here, and you're going to tackle our Grizzly trivia question. No pressure here. Our fans have, are undefeated. They've gotten it right every single time, all right? Perfect. Perfect. So you ready? I'm ready. All right. What is, we were talking to Jared Woods earlier, and what is the longest winning streak in GGC baseball history? And if you, you're keeping up with the Grizzlies a little bit right now, they're on a pretty good winning streak. Have you heard about the winning streak a little bit? 18 games, I hear. That's right. They're 18-0. and 0. So uh, what's the longest one in program history? We'll give you multiple choice. Five games, 10 games, currently 18, or 20. What do you got? I'm going with D, 20. That is correct. 20-game uh, winning streak back in 2014. We've got a Grizzly prize pack for you there. Yes, and then we've also got uh, four tickets to the next uh, home game of your choice. Does that awesome. sound good? Awesome. Sounds Congratulations, great. man. Appreciate it. Can I get a Go Grizzlies? Go Grizzlies. There it is right there. Our uh, Grizzly Trivia Award winner, too. Uh, you can uh, head back to your lunch if you want to, right? Thanks, Congratulations. So our, our Grizzly Trivia Award winner, again, undefeated. These fans are smart. They pay attention to what we're doing, and we appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. Colin? 
Let's start rolling the promos out there. Uh, Jared's got to go. He plays today. Four o'clock at the Grizzly Baseball Complex versus Robert Morris to wrap up that series. Grizzlies won yesterday 13 to three, so they're looking to sweep and keep that winning streak going. We'll have coverage for you on the Grizzly Digital Network at 345. Softball's in action today too as well. Doubleheader against Truett McConnell. That's gonna start at four o'clock and uh, we'll also have coverage of that for you right here on the Grizzly Digital Network. Baseball will be back in action this weekend with a three game set to host uh, Viterbo at, to, out of Wisconsin. And they're actually gonna play Friday, Sunday, Monday. So make sure you adjust your schedule accordingly. Saturday night, Saturday night under the lights, Sunday night under the lights, and then Monday at one o'clock, the Grizzlies uh, hosting Viterbo. Now the men's side, they're number one in the country again. Coaches poll just came out yesterday in tennis. They're gonna host a GDC invitation on that this weekend, but the following weekend, March 11th through the 13th. And guess who else a part of that tournament as well? The second ranked GDC women's tennis program. They're going to host a GDC Invitational March 11th to the 13th. If you haven't had a chance to get out there, go check that out. It's going to be we just re renovated the whole GDC tennis facility. We're going to host a lot of teams out there. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Looking forward to having everybody out there as well. I think that'll do it. That'll wrap us up here from Nukes Eatery in Lawrenceville. We've got a big day here on the Grizzly Digital Network, four broadcasts in three different locations. That ends it for here at Nukes. Check in at 4 o'clock from the Grizzly Baseball Complex and 4 o'clock from the Grizzly Softball Complex for a doubleheader. We'll have all the coverage for you right here on the Grizzly Digital Network. we got to grab some lunch and we got to go, so we're out of here. For the entire cast and crew from Lawrenceville, Georgia, I'm Matt Mahoney signing off saying so long, everybody. This is the Grizzly Digital Network. We'd like to thank our corporate sponsors for making today's broadcast possible. You can watch archived broadcasts and feature stories in the On Demand tab of the Grizzly Digital Network. For the most recent information, log on to grizzlyathletics.com.